Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. If that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? It's shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, okay. oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? 
Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? He nearly fell through the front door. Some dad we got home. They're always fighting these days getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> I think she was a Marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. <clears throat> hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. Oh! Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. You should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? It just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans, I'll go find her. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Can't imagine why, growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys.
son of a bitch clock. Wow. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah. Because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Anthony! Where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony! I'm getting really pissed off! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
Drain pipe and climb down. Won't you spare me over till another And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? 
No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head? Or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice, for what it's worth, is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. I already tried once, but I'm on it. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Ugh! Where's my phone? Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <clears throat> Come on, you can do it. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off.
You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. Uh, uh, <sighs> fucking thing. Holding out good for a rusty chain. Let's give it another go. Two, one, push. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <sighs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. get lost no We're back here this doesn't add up this is some very weird shit going on here spare us all first he loses his pride then he loses his way what are you trying to say that you've lost it it's not possible look I don't know what you're trying to prove here but we've got better things to do Daniel Whoa. hey careful watch out quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here the two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. What? I walked away from you! We're trapped here! There's no way out! I, I just don't understand! She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So, how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming.
I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay, what do we do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe, Maybe it isn't real. real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. Did you blab to her about us? Of course not. Didn't say a word. You absolutely sure you didn't blab about us? You don't believe me? I believe she's smart enough to get whatever she wants out of you. She got nothing out of me. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be sure. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night, or are we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, here too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. I could definitely use one. <sighs> you shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm okay. Drinking's all I got left. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Sorry. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw? And then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here.
Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, Boo's gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Some free advice. Lay off the drink. That's rich coming from you. <laughs> This place has some great history. Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Fuck. Hey. This way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural.
Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. Will you two get a move on? I know what I saw. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. You two, we need to stick close. Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny.
Hey, wait for us! What is that? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. else out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw a little girl appeared out of the fog and then just like that she was gone again what is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless. Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble, 
Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me.
Did this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? What? Get off me! John! What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? You look... It's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay?
Come on. Say something. This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out.
You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. And whatever the hell that was back at the intersection? Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you.
I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. You all done with poking around? Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful, I promise. <sighs> Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again.
kind of place is this? Professor? <gasps> Andrew here is packing. What? A gun? Are you crazy? We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? No surprise that didn't sell. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way.
Hey, are you okay? You should come out of there right now. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be caught. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Do not abandon me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. campaign didn't work out too well. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, 
I've got no choice. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hello? Anyone there? Come on, will you? Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. troubles you tell me what is happening sona will come for me calm yourself wife who is coming for you they're talking about me there are accusations accusations of what sort there is talk that i'm in league with the devil that i'm guilty of witchcraft there's no sense in that who would say such a thing i, I cannot rightly say Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? 
What rumors? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Uh. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope.
real nice. Keep looking. thing. I thought this was her way out. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. What is that? What do you think? Answer it.
answer the goddamn phone. Hey, come on. Be a man for once in your miserable life. Fine. Hello? Who is this? Who's on the line? I can't tell, but they sound in pretty bad shape. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. I'm with you. We need to keep whoever is on the line talking. I can help you out. But first, you must calm down. Take a deep breath. Do you want me to help you out? What the f <laughs> Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder come you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Let's get the fuck out of here. Not a pair between the two of you. We can't leave this poor woman to face them all alone. I beg you not to abandon me. By all that is holy, with whom are you conversing, woman? Even though I have seen this with my own eyes, I scarcely believe it. Amy is lost to us. Even now, she pleads for evil spirits to remain by her side. You must help me. I beg you. She can hear us. If she can, then maybe others can too. I would ask the court to hear direct testimony. A witness who saw with her own eyes the accused take part in some unspeakable satanic ritual. In the woods, outside of this very town. Reverend Carver, you mislead us all. Forgive me, good judge, but it is my wife who stands accused, and I know her to be innocent. I would not be so quick as to cast stones at others, Joseph. Not when your own conduct does not bear scrutiny. Please hear me, good judge. All accusations against me are false. They're founded only in malice. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine... No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why? It gets me so. We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's here there? Among us. God preserve us. Please. The master cannot promise. help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us.
What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? The whole thing scared the crap out of me. But that little girl was freaky. My gut says her fit was a setup, a scam to put that woman on trial in even bigger trouble. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Oh. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still... Splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, 
and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Fog is getting worse. for shit. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I want off this bridge as fast as possible, but not that fast. Someone has to go first. You lead. I'll be right behind you. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? Why, why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. 
You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fill the will of the court. Stop this. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face. Isaac. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, 
that gun might prove to be a lifesaver, don't you think? Or the precise opposite? boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of, unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act 5, scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead, soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. Places to end up. Let's get out of here. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. 
Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! You okay? Stupid old fool. Can I get some peace around here? Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. That woman's final words keep buzzing in my head. To end what's happening in Little Hope, the little girl has to be stopped. Was she talking about stopping more witchcraft accusations or something else? I couldn't tell. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I'm wondering if that thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me got to stay real close now. When you say close, how close exactly? This close? A little closer. A little bit more. What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge, no way. To find the others, we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across, you can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay then.
you see this? Let's get out of here. Daniel! Get your hands off us! Quiet. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. That little kid is the evil here? I don't I don't get it. My beloved Amy. Proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep it. Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I... I think she wants us to go after her. I'm with you. We go after her. She's mixed up in all this. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <laughs> Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us. Shoo. Ugh, disgusting. Guys? You there? Help me! Oh! I got you! Not stopping. Oh, please, God. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pendula. Shit. No. What did she do to deserve that? It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. Disturbing. You creep the hell out of me. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Hey, take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, 
And this could all end right here. Okay. I'm with you. Let's do this. I think that worked. I gotta say, I'm not so sure. Get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. You hear that? Maybe. Heard something, not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. Known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some... All right, 10 bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still, first place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no, but I was in a past life. Not getting through this way. Hey, Taylor, check this out. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah, and that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat, I never took the uh, bet. Fair enough. It's loose. 
I can jimmy this open, no problem. We could have a big powwow about who goes in first, but we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. Whoa, what the? What? That's... Oh, Easy now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here. Come on, this way. These things look so real. They're freaking me out. What's up? I just, I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. That you? Taylor? Taylor? The match can help you no more. Cast aside your false idols and pray to the one almighty Lord for forgiveness. Taylor! You okay? What's going on? What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Sorry I wasn't there for you. I... This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Let's get out of here. I hear that. found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once. 
when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Think we should bring it along? Here, you take it. Uh, why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Okay. Small price to pay to make you feel better. I got it. You smell that? Something was burned here not long ago. Yeah, I smell it. Great. On top of all this other crap, we got a pyromaniac running around too. Hey, check this out. The enclosed poppet, or doll, is thought to have originally belonged to a child in the late 1600s. Creepy. Shit, wait, I got it. This missing doll has got to be the one I saw with the kid. You think? That's kind of weird. Kind of weird? This place is full-on nightmare central. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. With you on that. Come on, this way out. Oh, hello. Are things becoming any clearer for you? That thing, whatever it is, just keeps coming for Angela. Unrelenting.
do hope she's okay. <laughs> anyway, now that a child's toy has been burnt, everybody will be fine. <laughs> right? Another instrument of death added to the group's collection. Good work. Let me help you out. Give you one little hint. Well then, how can I put this? We each have our own demons. They are ours and ours alone. And they're often born out of regret. <sighs> I'll leave you now with some wise words from a great Irish playwright I once met in uh, Paris, I believe. <clears throat> Never judge anyone shortly. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. She's just a child. Let's speak again later. Looks like we've locked out here. Back on the road. The professor and the others can't be far. Hope you're right. We've been shit out of luck so far tonight. The woman who looks like me, what should she do to be taken like that? Not a great omen for sure, but nothing's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. I hope I get to make things right with Angela. A lot of bad, weird shit gone down tonight. We're the first tourists this place has seen for a long, long time. Why would anyone come here anyway? This place is a real ghost town. Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. <laughs> that swing looks like the one in my backyard when I was a kid. <gasps> no way. Get over here! What's up? This is impossible. I know those markings. This is my old tire swing. Look, here, see? Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you don't get it. See these stars? I painted them onto this tire with my dad when I was 10 years old. You sure? Hell yes, I'm sure this is my tire swing. How come it's out here? I believe you, okay? So what does it mean? It's gotta be some weird head trip message for me. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. 
We're getting through this, okay? Together. This is not my doing. You must help me. I beg you. Please help me before it is too late. Hush now, woman. Only the Almighty can forgive your sin. That is your only hope of salvation. Listen to me. I have committed no sin. The puppet I am condemned for is a child's plaything. Nothing more. I swear it. I will not it. be deceived. I see the evil in you. My duty is to cleanse our town of your sickness. There is no other way. You must hang. I pray, Lord, for you to take the soul of this, our sister Tabitha, who has been led astray by the devil, and do with it as you will. And we just saw it was me. That, that means I'm next. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I'll make sure of that. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep on going to the church. That's likely where the rest are. Yeah, sure, I guess. Feels like we're being followed. We are being followed. Hey! Get the fuck out of here! Back the fuck off, will you? Oh crap, what the fuck is that? Come on.
that? Taylor. Taylor! Is that you back there? Get to the church! Run! Hey! One of those fucking things is after Get us! Get inside! Go! Come on! Move it! Hey! Run! Get inside! What the hell are you doing? Hey! Are you crazy? You trying to get yourself killed? Get in here. Hey! Where's Angela? She didn't make it. Nothing we could do. You're kidding me. No, and we have to keep that thing outside, or we'll be joining her. Fuck. Look for ways in and out of here. Close them all off. <laughs> Shit! Come on, we need a barricade here! Come on! Hey! Why the hell is that old fool still out there? Looks like he's following us. Whatever he's up to, we can't trust I him. I know you're inside! What in God's name is he up to? He's gonna lead that thing straight to us. He doesn't get how much trouble we're in here. Get out here and look me in the eye! Don't even think about going outside. You motherfucker, you! You take a goddamn shot at me! Quit hiding in there! We have to get rid of him. We're in deep shit if that thing hears us. Get away from here! Go! You're, you're in real danger! I know! From you! You'll regret it big time if you don't leave right now! Get out here and face me like a man, you chicken shit! There's something real bad out there! What are you wetting your panties over? There's nothing here! Place is a ghost town! Yeah, right! It's the ghosts I'm talking about! Fine! Stay in there, you dumb fuck! That thing's out there. It's toying with us. Why are these things... whatever the hell they are, coming after us? I wish I knew. Maybe then we'd know how to stop them. Professor? Andrew! It's me. I'm next. The priest, reverend, whatever, made accusations against my double. It sounded serious. Another trial? Not this time. It sure looked like it was heading that way. And the girl? Mary? Yeah. She was there, all right. Sounds like burning that weird doll didn't do the job. We secure in here? You find any other ways in? Sorry, Professor, I didn't check. That thing is still out there. Look over there. We have to follow her. Whoever she is, she's tied up in everything that's happened here. What if you're right? What then? If we can stop her, it could prevent any more harm happening to our doubles. Okay. Guard the door in case that thing comes back.
Hey, kid. You out here? Pains me to say these words, but your punishment today will protect us all. Keep our town safe. Can you spare him? I beg you. This is hard for you, child. But one day you will understand, and you will thank me. Go from this place, Mary. Your pleas cannot reach him. My fate is not a memory you should carry. Who will be my keeper if you are gone? Judge Wyman has instructed Abraham. He will be your keeper. A decision not all are in agreement with. Every man will face his day of judgment. Yours is today. No! No! Look, child. See who you would have me spare. See, he is no longer of this earth. Only the damned and the devil can resist in this way. He was right here. I was holding him. He was right there. Nothing I could do. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I, I know how much it messed me up. Thanks. We're both still standing. That's what counts. Why did that kid Mary want us to see her brother executed? Doesn't add up. We're missing a piece of the puzzle somehow. Like what? Not sure. First time I saw Mary, felt like I recognized her from someplace. Me too. I know I've seen her before. But where? There it is! That's what's been after us! Come on! What do we do now, with that thing outside? Quiet. It's out there. Listen. It's out there, for now. What if it decides to come in after us? Maybe we're okay if we stay inside the church. Because? Because it's holy ground. A church? Maybe it can't come in. Really? It's a fucking vampire now? I'm just saying, this is a solid building. He's right. We're safer in here. We're staying put. I guess staying makes some kind of sense, right? Y you think that's our best move? We are staying in here. No choice. Okay. Maybe you got a point. Perhaps the thing will get bored and take off. We have nowhere else to go. Sounds like more than one. Fucking great! Just listen up. It follows us when we move around. And we need to be quiet. Huh? <laughs> 
Taylor, come on! Talk to us! We gotta do something now. Hold on, Maria. We need to be calm. Fuck calm. Taylor's in trouble. Am I happy to see you guys? Thought I'd lost you. We're still in big trouble here. <laughs> I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. <sighs> Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. I keep telling you, stick together, and we'll be fine. Fine like Angela, right? All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. We should rest here for a while. You asleep? That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to lead us somewhere. Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. We've had it. This is over. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. 
Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Okay, okay. Wait until you have a clean shot. It's almost going to shoot the damn thing. Did I get it? Is it dead? Uh, oh. oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Oh fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. This can't I'm be so... happening. We saw her get taken back at the museum. There's no way she could be wandering around out here. Easy, John. Please. It was an accident. This is also fucked up. I thought that, that thing was coming for us. <laughs> fucking thing's not hurting anyone else. I should have fucking taken it off of you. <laughs> Run! Professor, you there? Daniel? Taylor? <clears throat> Guys! you
how we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and so far, only one lost soul, Angela. But it would appear that you are your own worst enemy. I did warn you to be careful with that gun. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? That thing only came for me after my lookalike died. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all, that you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. 
Now I'm not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Then you gotta protect your friend and speak out against her. The accusations, the executions, all that is down to her. You have to tell the truth. You are cursed, a sure sign of the devil. Let's hope you've done enough to stop that kid and help us get out of here. We'll see. Feels like I made a bad call. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. We saw Andrew's double. Said he was gonna speak out against Mary. That she's just a malicious kid, not some witch finder. That can only be positive. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't see thing. coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. At all. N never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Taylor! Daniel! Taylor! Where are you? Taylor! Taylor, I'm coming! Shit! Stupid fucking deer! Do not let go! Help me! Don't let I'm not go. letting go!
can't believe Taylor's gone. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Taylor. I just can't believe it. This ain't happening. I can't believe Taylor's gone. Can't believe she's gone. We all knew she was in danger, and we all let her down. <laughs> we need your double to spill the beans on Mary to the judge. Seems like the only way to stop her and get us out of here alive. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. And how did that work out? It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on, let's take a look. Check this out. Hey! They're coming. You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. 
It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! I do not know which course to take. My conscience tells me I must speak out against Mary, but it weighs heavy on my heart to do so. You've got to tell the judge everything. That girl is evil. Everyone needs to know it. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm Little not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary confessed to me all her accusations were false. She did not see what she claimed. There was no witchcraft. There were no familiars, no devils. All were just the imaginings of a child's mind. You understand the gravity of your testimony? Yes, George, I do. Very well. You may step down. Mary is to remain with me. Given your testimony, I feel the child must go elsewhere. The Reverend Carver will be Mary's new charge by order of the court. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah, we saw him. He told the judge that Mary made it all up. None of what she said was true. Okay, so now what? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? You agree with him? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back.
Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? If any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is... <laughs> you hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey, are you okay down there?
head. Hey. I don't understand any of this shit. But she's gone. Professor? Professor? Andrew? Daniel? made it this time yeah not sure how much longer my luck can hold though and did you spotted that kid mary not seen her I've seen this before. That's real hatred. Wonder what the guy did. In the fog there. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you but six servants. Barely. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that. Look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. John, get away from it! I can't get away from this thing! You saw what happened to Taylor! I'm not going the same way! Are you crazy? 
We gotta move! Come on, you fuck unready! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. The sooner we get away from here, the better I'll feel. You're gonna wanna see this. This is for real? Angela and I were married.
What's that? Most likely the girl up there. We need to find her. <laughs> She's in here. Stay here. It's a trick. He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Orb, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost it. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He knows what he's talking about. Carver is the guilty one here. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he is capable of. If it's the doll that's evil, then destroy the damn doll. Then you'll be rid of it. The Reverend is right to blame the puppet. That is what has cast its spell on Mary. Destroy it, and she will be restored, released from its curse. If the puppet truly holds Mary in an evil grip, then let us destroy it. See if the child can be free from its spell. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. We must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. You gotta let this go. Nothing you can do now. We all done? I'm not sure about that. I could have just made things a whole lot worse. You see the girl? Tell me what happened. We've seen the last of that little kid.
thought you'd be here. Leave me alone, will ya? I've lost everything. You've lost everything? Are you kidding me? Just get out of here. Go away! You should have stayed away. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. There he is! There's a fucking killer! You mean Angela? That was an accident. I thought she was one of those things. You seem a little confused. traffic through a little hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. You, you take a goddamn shot at me? Quit hiding in there! Get away from here! Go, you're, you're in real danger! I know. From you! You'll regret it big time if you don't leave right now! Get out here and face me like a man, you chicken shit! Hey! They're coming! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can 
now put the past behind him. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time.